G'day guys, Andy Thomas from Wolf on the Run. First off, we've got all the merchandise in. T-shirts, hoodies, sweat tops. Um, I'll put the link um, down below. So just click on that. It's an American website. Um, but it's one of the best websites in the design. So they give you a fair good quality. I think it takes about 14 days for delivery to Australia. If you're in the USA, perfect. Um, I think it's free delivery in USA, here to Australia, UK, I think it's 10 bucks. So it's not bad, the prices are pretty good, as I say they're in Australia, American dollars, um, which converts obviously to wherever you're from, euros, pounds, wherever. So please, please, please support the channel, buy a top, send a photo to my Facebook page, and then um, on the next video I'll do, I'll put you on the Facebook page, and then on the next video I'll put a link of everybody together, wearing their tops. There you go. Thanks for sponsoring Wolf on the Run. How many times have you left those behind because you can't get them out the ground? I've got three, possibly four ways of making a little puller that will help you get those temp pegs out of solid ground. Uh, if you've stood them in with your feet, whether you knocked them in with your boots, or whether you've used a hammer or mallet or something you've took with you or a rock, and then you can't get them back out afterwards, um, with the guy ropes it's not too bad, um, like this you can actually use the guy rope to pull them out um, but when it's the core of your tent or your ground sheet or your tarp you can't really use that um, like this shows here, you're going to rip it to pieces um, and if you've got nothing to pull it out with you're going to actually just leave it behind and then when you get back to the yard, back to home you're going to say I'm going to get me some more tent pegs but the, these ones, these metal ones, are very, very just steel. But some of you guys and myself have got 10 pegs like that one, which is a very thin aluminium peg with a little tiny hook on the top. And those are a little bit more expensive. They're very lightweight to go with the lightweight tents. Um, and you don't really want to leave those behind. So, yeah, I'm going to show you how to make four different types of 10 peg puller. Alright guys, so the first one is just out the tent peg, lay it flat there, mark 80mm, these are 200mm tent pegs, so 80mm and then we'll say 50, so that's 130, so we've got two marks. So first off, make sure that's that way, put it to the mark closest to there. You let it tap. About 45 degrees. And then back to the other one. Turn it around the other way. And tap it that way. That one you want just over 90 degrees, so we'll lift that up slightly and put it into there, like so. That's it, as simple as that. First one out of an old tent peg. I bent it the same way so that obviously it will lie flat in your peg bag. That gives you enough handle there to hold on to and hook that under. Next one again is just a peg and a bit of, I've got a bit of hardwood here. Um, I'll tell you what will be a high deal is um, a bit of old wooden broom stale, but I've, I've not got any at the moment, so I'm going to use this square bit of wood and then I'm just going to round it over so it's a little bit bloody noisy bugger going past. So I'm going to round it over, um, just so it gives me a little bit of grip for the handrail. We're going to drill it through there, put the peg through to make a T-bar like so. Uh, and you just round it off, make it look a bit nice. Alright guys, as you can see I've just roughed it out. I mean you can spend a bit more time on it by all means. It's just something so you can grip hold of and got a bit of a pull. I'm going to drill a hole in here and then uh, which is the same size as a temp peg. I'm going to measure that. I think it's about five mil quarter of an inch. 
So I'll measure that and drill a hole so it's a nice tight fit. Okay, so I've drilled that hole and say it's a nice tight fit. But what we're going to do is we're going to put an axe awk through the top of there, just down about four or five mil, and then just splay it over. And then I will put some um, super glue around that edge, and the splayed top will stop it pulling through on you. All right, so I've got an old flathead screwdriver. I'm just going to tap that in the top of there. Here you go, guys. So I've just V'd the top out just a little bit. So when we glue that in, that won't pull through the hole. Um, we'll round the top off and we'll knock it into the wood a little bit so that it's not going to catch your hand. So I've got a bit of Loctite glue, just going to put it on the top of there. Pull that up, oh, nice tight fit. As you can see now that's just at the top of there. So I'm going to level that up, line it up with that and that, and then tap it in, like so. Tap that in. You always give that a bit of a file on top. There you go, guys. As I say, this is just a little bit of a I've marked that up there with the voice and whatever. But you can, you can spend more time on it. It's just to give you some idea of what we're talking about. All right, guys. So this next one or these next couple involve a bit of difference. Um, as you've seen it's easy to pull out with uh, the guide rope so you can make yourself a bit of a handle again a broom stale drilled through this one I've got a bit of plastic tube with a hole in um, and also I've got a bit of wood we're going to utilize this one for both so I'll show you two ways we can use that one um, so first off we use that and a bit of um, guide rope paracord whatever you've got lying around I'll just cut a piece off you can flame the ends if you want to, which will um, just a nice solid end to play with rather than frayed. And then you've got a nice point there to go through. So with this one, you can feed them both through that hole. <laughs> yeah, try and get them both out the same way, that would be good. Million to one chance. The other alternative is, is that way with a bit of tube. You can actually put one through that way. Like so. And just tie it in a loop. Fish the loop back through and there you've got your puller that way. So you can tie that knot there. Like so. Put the knot inside the tube out the way and you've got the puller that will hook around your tent peg like so and then you can actually pull that use that as a pull out the ground that way exactly the same as that tube but this is a piece of wood obviously again a broom stale wooden broom stale something light um, it's pulling that through there like so Again, a little bit smaller piece of wood. This is just to give you an idea. And we're going to use this, as I say. So basically, that's what I was trying to show you on the plastic. So again, you've got something. You can hook that around your tent peg. And again, you've got a pull up that will help you pull it out. You need a decent knot on the top there or even a washer through there just to help the pull. Um, but I'm also going to use this as something else. And every duty one. Let's go on to that one. Alright guys, so for this one, you want an old silicon gun. We're going to unscrew that nut off there. That's a locking nut. 
So we'll take that off. Take that off. Get rid of the gun. This is the part that you want. And you'll feed that, you'll drill that hole in there big enough to take that. I'll just tap that through. Now depending what you use as a handle, you might be able to utilize that piece you took off for the top. But I've got a little bit of flat washer. So that will go on the top of there. Then I'll put the nut back on there. As I say, dip it back up. Might be better off flat. Here you go guys. So it's exactly the same, but if you're using big big pegs, you got you know you're off in the use or whatever and you need a big tent puller. Because that's got a nut on the end of there and a plate, that's going to give you a lot of force. You can get two hands on it to hook it onto your peg. You might have bigger pegs than this, but at least you can get in, hook it under. Alright guys, so first off, there's that infamous peg that you had to leave behind. So here's the first one, cheap and cheerful. Hook it in, ah, pull it out. Job done. So we tap that back into the ground. Get it down into the grass. We'll go to this one. So as I say, when you pulled it out earlier, you can get your behind you. And then pull it out. Again. We'll go with this one. Same thing, hook it on. <laughs> Just gives you that bit of leverage. As I say, don't forget to glue it and rivet the end over just so you don't pull through. And then for beast, this is probably too big for motorcycle, but it's there, the idea. Get it underneath, you get two hands on it. If you've got something big and massive that you want to pull out. Yeah. There you go guys, four easy 10 peg pullers that you can just keep in with your tent bag, your tent pegs. Especially these little ones, that one's 200 mil, that's the same size as a peg. As I say, you can use a bit of broom style, a bit of anything through there, just something that you can actually buy things like this but why spend 10 bucks when you've already got a peg lying around and you can just knock something up as you've seen in seconds. There we go guys, as I say, tent pegs, even these ones, it will hook around there. So it'll give you some leverage on that as well for these little ones. Ten pegs bag, pretty much the same size, especially that little cheap and easy one. That will go in there, no dramas at all. There you go guys, fantastic, hope it helped.